Melissa the Cupcake Stitcher and I want to welcome you back to my 18th video. Uh, if this is the first time you're here, welcome. This is a channel all about my cross stitching. Um, and if you are returning, thanks for coming back. As always, I know there's a lot of channels out there that you can be watching um, and I always appreciate when you stop by and say hello. So it's been about two months since my last video. Uh, every time I have wanted to make a video, life has gotten in the way. Uh, a lot has happened in the last two months. Uh, I went to Whistle Stop, a couple other Crock-Pot Friday meetups, work of course, uh, personal life. My grandma passed away end of October. Um, and then I gained a new niece about a week and a half ago. So lots going on in life. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about personal stuff today because my table is loaded down. Um, it's gonna crush under the weight of all this stitchy goodness that is sitting on it. Uh, so without further, further ado, we're just gonna get right into things today, guys. Um, the other thing is I have a new phone and apparently it's showing me I have 42 minutes to make a video. Um, and that's a tall order with the amount of stuff that's sitting on my table. So uh, we will hopefully not have too many interruptions today from my jabbering. Uh, and hopefully I can get this done in the allotted time because I don't know what I'll do if not. So um, as always, let's start with new starts. I don't know if that's what I always do, but today we're going to start with new starts. Um, I've had several uh, in two months. Not as many as I would have thought, but that's okay. So when we went to Whistle Stop, we all decided to do a new start. And me being extra, uh, I think I started three projects there. So I don't remember what order I started these in, but this is the first one, uh, Boudoir, Rotary, Opry. I don't know how to speak French, um, but this is a Sue Hillis kit. Uh, it's not a kit. Sue Hillis pattern um, that I stole from Katie Glass. Pretty much this project was kitted by Katie Glass's stash when I stayed with her um, for StitchCon back in June. Uh, love, love this pattern. This was the Stitch Away free pattern um, the year before I went, I believe. Uh, and Joe had made all of these trays that you see here in the picture. Uh, and that's what you got this and um, the tray frame, which is amazing. So my interpretation of this is a little bit different. Uh, I am using a red but then I am stitching it instead of on a neutral, I went with this beautiful charcoal fabric. Like I said, this was stolen from Katie and the uh, floss was also stolen from Katie. So it's showing up really red here. Um, in life, it's more of like a burgundy or it's a very deep red um again very red maybe it looks a little bit more like this i don't know if that's any darker i can't see any good red in that but um this is victoria motto sampler berry red also stolen from katie she loves me and lets me steal stuff from her. Um, but I am loving this piece. Those roses were super fun to do. And I'm working on the Eiffel Tower scissors right there. Um, and then my lovely crock pot crew needle minder. I have more of those later. I'll kind of show you those. Um, spoiler alert, also from Katie. See how many times I can say Katie's name in my video today. Um, yeah, so new start number one. Love this one. Lots of fun. And again, it's pretty late right now. I think it's almost nine o'clock. Um, had a busy day of going to get my oil changed and putting out my Christmas lights. 
poking myself in the eye with a tree branch. That was fun. Um, so I'm going to probably jabber while I bag this stuff back up and put it in my bin so that I don't have to clean up after the video. The second new start that I had at Whistle Stop was this Summer House Stitch Works pattern called Simple Threads. Um, I love, love, love the colors in this. Um, I bought this pattern at Summer Stitch um, at Keepsakes Holds. It's a two, two weekend deal. I went to the second weekend um, and this was one of the trunk shows that she had there. Um, and I fell in love with a lot of her patterns. And I mean, this is a small one, but it's, it's cute. The colors are amazing. Um, so like I said, I also started this at Whistle Stop. I took a couple different colors of fabric. Um, I went with something a little bit different, but the colors are here. Very like vintagey looking colors. Very warm. Most, we got a good week, a uh, good mix of classic, gassed, and um, weeks. So super, super pretty colors. Um, and I have no idea what count fabric this is. Absolutely. Actually, hold on. I probably do. It's a 32 count. Um, and it is Amsterdam blue. Um, that is, to me, much more green. So I got a good little start on here. Love the colors. Love this green. I thought it was something different. Um, and I really like the way it looks on there. So haven't done, I don't think I've worked on that since I've gotten home. Uh, but when I work on this one, like it's not a very, this is a, this is a tiny pattern for me. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you like, you know that I like big, big projects. Um, the bigger, the better. So that was new start number two. Back into the bin. And new start number three. I think this is what the girls actually voted on for me to start. Most of us did that. Um, most of us brought several options and then we laid them out on the table and everybody kind of picked what their favorites were. Um, and this is what they picked for me to do. And this is Seasons in Chalk Art um, Fall. So I've started this. I only have one more to start. I have three of the six that I am doing done. Um, I have winter, spring, and summer. So this is the last season I need. I've started the Stars and Stripes, and then I need to start the Christmas one. Um, colors in this one are pretty fun as well. I did realize that I do need to get another skein of, I think it's carrot. Um, but colors, very autumnal, folly if folly colors. Maybe I do have two skeins of carrot, carrot and carrot. Oh, I do. Okay, never mind. Um, so those are the lovely colors. And I am stitching it on the 32 count called for slate, hand dyed by Stephanie. Um, and I believe this is up. This is a little needle minder that I made. Um, it was actually a button, just stuck a magnet on the back. Um, and all the girls got one at Whistle Stop. But here's my teeny tiny little start. Um, good variegation in that leaf color though. So one little leaf to start out. I would like to have this one done by next fall so I can put it out. I've already put winter up since my house has obviously been Christmas-fied, Christmas um, if you can't see behind me. So new start number three. I also had um, a new start. I don't know if I started this. I think this may have actually been done by the time I did my last video, but I didn't show it because I didn't know if I was going to give um, this one away or my other one that I ended up giving away. Um, 
for our whistle stop exchange. Um, so this is technically a finish and it's fully FFO'd. I don't think you've ever seen anything FFO'd from me. Um, but this is Rustic Halloween Tree and it's by Turquoise Graphics on Etsy. I believe I stitched it 36 count um, in the Color for Colors. It's all DMC, but super cute little Halloween tree. I'm going to burn my face so it focuses. Um, this new camera is awesome though, guys. It's what happens when you get an upgrade from like a Galaxy 6. Four editions old, you know? Uh, yeah, so super, super cute. I finished it as a little pillow with this um, flannel, Halloween-y flannel, and then um, this cute little charm. I found both of those at Joann's. Nothing fancy, and this thing is stuffed. You can see it's quite fat, um, but I feel like a lot of times pillows kind of lose their puffiness over time, um, and so I wanted to stuff this real well so it would stay nice and plump for a while, just like me. Um, so that needs to actually go downstairs in my bin. So that was a start and finish. And then the other thing that I started and finished, um, it was actually two patterns uh, for the Harry Potter um, Instagram exchange that was um, hosted by Candy Askins, um, Candy Stitches. And I do have a video of that, which I will insert here. So I just wanted to share with you what I was going to send my, or what I have sent, my Harry Potter exchange partner. Um, my partner was Kelly. She is on Instagram and then I did not look up her Instagram handle before, but I will post it in the box below. So I wanted to send her some floss and some fabric. And so I picked out some color and cotton in the Hogwarts house colors, of course. And so for Gryffindor red, we have Dracula. For Hufflepuff yellow, which is she is a Hufflepuff, we have Bumblebee. For those Slytherins in the world, I picked out Emerald, very bright green. Um, and then for Ravenclaws, which of course I am, um, because blue right um is sapphire and this is probably one of my favorite colors i had a hard time parting with this one and the griffin and the dracula but um this one i had my stash the other three i found when i went to keepsakes and they just didn't have any good color and cotton reds available at the time so um i pulled one from my stash and i'm like i can always get more dracula and then i also picked up at keepsakes a 310 needle minder because every good witch needs a black cat and this 35 count weeks dye works in straw um i thought it was a really pretty neutral um that kind of looks like parchment so she's getting that and then this is the small i made um is anybody else like as extra as I am like I can make something for myself that's simple and you know like I can do just a small pillow finish and I'm fine with it but when I send something to somebody else I have to be extra and I don't know why I'm like that so this I wanted to do like little lantern finish I was gonna put fairy lights in it but the fairy lights just weren't working um, if Kelly wants to do that, she certainly can. I think it looks fine just how it is. Um, and so I found this little lantern. I got it for a really decent price. Um, and I actually did two patterns. So you'll see here in a minute. So the first one is called Magic Wand. I got it off of Etsy. Um, I did convert the colors. So, of course, the light coming out of the wand... Um, is in Petite Treasure Braid, three different colors. So there's a little bit of um, that ombre effect. And then the wand was a Weeks Dye Works uh, Swiss Chocolate, I believe. Um, I loved that color. I loved the variegation it gave the wand. Obviously we're getting some nice reflection off the glass. Um, and then I finished 
I put just a little insert in the bottom. Um, this is one of the new Harry Potter fabrics that I found at Joann's. Um, it was so new that the person cutting it had never seen it before, and I'm pretty sure she was keeping the bolt back behind the counter for herself. Um, there's also another one that I bought for maybe a future project bag for myself. I was not going to make Kelly a project bag with it being my first one. I would want, you know, decent quality. Um, but that one was like a Deathly Hollows symbol, um, really pretty blue fabric, and I think the two go really well together. Uh, so then I found, of course, a golden snitch that I hung from the top of the lantern, so it does kind of float. And then um, one of her favorite characters is Hedwig, the other one was Dobby, and I found this cute little Hedwig. It's actually an eraser, um, but who would ever want to use that cool eraser to actually erase stuff? So I put him in there, and I think it's awesome. And then on the flip side, I put her favorite quote from the Harry Potter series, which is, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Um, of course, by Albus Dumbledore. He says that in the book. And I, of course, love this. This is also one of my favorite quotes. Um, this was another pattern off of Etsy. It had some lightning bolts and a border, and I just took the words, and I, of course, again, put it with Krynik, or not Krynik, um, Petite Treasure Braid, because I like sparkle, and I'm extra. And so this is um, kind of like a double-backed, just mounted board. Um, I didn't make it necessarily a flat fold. Um, and so this is just kind of stuck in here. So she can take it in and out if she wants. She can set it or lean it up against something or put on like a little easel, um, depending on which side she wants to show. But I really like the way it turned out. I want to try some more like lantern finishes. I think they're kind of cool, almost like making little shadow boxes. Um, but yeah, Let's see if I zoom back. There it is. I definitely like this side better. I mean, not that I don't like the quote, but I like having the little extra doodads because, again, extra, right? Okay. So now that I've spent almost six minutes showing you guys my small, um, we'll go back to the regularly scheduled programming. All right. Bye. So that was super, super fun. Um, I enjoyed stitching that. You'll see what I got from um, my exchange partner, as I go through uh, stitchy, stitchy kindness um, that I've received. Um, I also think I have another video of the finish that I did send out for Whistle Stop. Um, Tony, uh, one of our non-Instagram or non um, floss tubers um, in our Whistle Stop uh, Crockpock Friday group um, got mine and um, I hope she really liked it. So I will show that to you. So this is the piece that I stitched for our 2019 Whistle Stop White Elephant Exchange. Um, we could have stitched anything. I decided to go with a Halloween theme, um, which is what we did last year. I just really liked it and I found this pattern and I thought it was cute. So this is called Three Little Candy Corns and by Lou Who Stitches. Um, I got the pattern off of Etsy. It uses all DMC. I did sub out Weeks Dye Works Coal because I was out of DMC 310 for some reason. Um, and I wanted to start with little boxes to kind of get my outline going. Um, I stitched on 28 count dirty linen. So all the different, uh, each section has kind of a different pattern to the stitching, which is kind of cool. Then I just finished it in a small pillow form. Uh, we got a black and orange polka on the back. And then this orange and yellow trim that I found at Joann's. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Get my hand out of there. There we go. Um, this was in the dollar bin, actually, uh, which is great. <laughs> so I thought it matched pretty well. I did sew it into the pillow form itself versus sewing it on at the end. Uh, so the corners aren't as great as I would like and then this 
bottom piece here I kind of had to cut a little piece to make the ends meet because it met at first but then when I hand sewed it the little edge together it didn't quite reach but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it turned out uh, so I'm gonna get this all wrapped up and uh, in the bag I leave tomorrow morning um, of course you'll see this after you know my camera's gonna play zoom in zoom out game uh, but yeah so I'm gonna get this in the bag and then probably go to bed so I can wake up in the morning and uh, head to Tennessee so back to the video bye all right, now that I've uh, gotten through those awkward pauses and starts, um, we will go through whips next. Again, big stack of whips. It's what we like to see. Um, I'm still, I think, in the 20 count, somewhere in the 20s for my whips. Um, hoping to bring that down a little bit next year with magical stitches this year. I feel like I've stitched randomly on a lot of things. Um, and I'd like to have, I think a little bit more focus next year on some bigger pieces um, to crank some stuff out. Uh, but this I pulled out for one of the challenges. Uh, this is Ghost Trilogy. I believe this one is Essence. Yes, Essence. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the three. I love the cat. I'm not a cat person, but, uh, I love that you can kind of see his outline through the ghost. I think that's really cool. And that was the one that I worked on. I have the first one done. I don't remember what his name is. That's Ellis. So we have Ellis, Eerie. I haven't worked on him in a while. And then Essence is what I worked on. Um, so he's got quite a bit of a body. I think I finished out his arms. Um, I finished all of, I think, most of the regular stitching. There might be a little bit more to his tail. Um, and then the cat. And this is on, I believe, Witching Hour. Hold on, I have it here. 28 count uh, Witching Hour um, under the sea fabrics. Um, really, really pretty piece of fabric. I think this is all the camera, guys. But it is a really pretty piece of fabric. So I got all three of them. I think I, they are obviously not equally spaced. Uh, I think I plan on finishing them individually. So, but rather than do them on the perforated paper, I wanted to do them on fabric. And once those are all done, I think I've already said this like probably 12 times in my other videos, um, I will probably give all three of those away as a big giveaway. All right, whip number one is out of here. Next one that I worked on is Cricut Collection Skeleton Crew. So I had to do a little bit of frogging on this one. Um, I was gonna use the glow in the dark Krynek on various parts of this and I just don't, I didn't like stitching with it and I did not like the way it turned out. So I frogged out, um, I think I had this ghost's face here. Um, I had done it with like a green and it just, it didn't look right. Um, and then I changed the colors for the pumpkin cause I didn't think it looked right. Um, and then I went back cause then I went back to what it was really charted for cause I think I made it too bright. So yeah, just go with what the pattern says, Melissa. Sometimes you, you don't have to make changes. Um, but here's my progress on that. So those are the called for colors in the pumpkin and in the face. And I think it looks so much better. Uh, this uh, flag sail, sail, sail color is um, a color in cotton. I think it's sh chamois. I, I talked about it in one of my other videos, um, but it is kind of like a linen-y, dirty color. Um, I think it looks makes the sails look really good. And then it also makes the skeletons pop. So I've got two of the five skeletons done. Um, well, six if you count the little guy that's popping out on the bottom. 
my favorite. So this is another needle minder that I made. Everyone got a pumpkin and everyone got like a little Halloween guy. So there were bats, Frankenstein, uh, mummies. The mummies were cute. I forget what else, but everyone got two of those from me. So that's my progress on skeleton crew. This is a partial finish, um, which I really need to get cranking on this one. So this is Disney Castle. You've probably all heard my spiel that I'm stitching this for my best friend's little girl, um, Willow Jean. Um, and I wanna have this done by Christmas. So I finished the castle and it looks freaking awesome. Um, haven't charted or started stitching her name yet. And it's the fourth, fifth, fourth, third, fourth, I don't know. It's early in the month, but I only have so many days left to finish it. This is on 28 count beach walk under the sea fabrics, Lugana. It is opalescent. The camera is picking that up. Um, talked about this it came out much more pink purple than I was expecting I was expecting more of a, a tan and gray and I have a whole yard of it so it works perfect for this I will probably stitch on this fabric again for my new niece's uh, birth sampler of whatever I choose <laughs> I haven't picked anything out yet um, we didn't know what my sister was having so she has two little boys already um so she was very very excited to have a girl this time um as are the rest of us so everybody is doing good there she will be two weeks old tomorrow so um, she was born a week before thanksgiving so super excited about that love this project bag this is from jan one of the finishers and keepsakes don't remember when I bought that, but I did. Oh, this is a giant piece. This is my almond blossom, my oldest whip. Um, I think I did like 500 stitches, a couple, couple hundred stitches um, on this piece for one of the magical stitches challenges. What I really want to do is give this piece a bath. It is so bad. The edges are taped. It's not centered. I'm going to have to add fabric to get it finished. Um, it's on 14 counts, which if I stitch on 14 or 28 count, I like to stitch with three strands because I'm covered tonight. Not that this looks bad because it is full coverage. Um, but yeah, the other thing is, is when I started this, I did, I started like extreme cross country, which at the time I didn't really know what that, I didn't know that was what it was called. Um, but here's my chart. It's taped together because apparently I thought you had to do that. And do uh, you see any highlighting on there? No, because there isn't any highlighting. So, I apparently just went for it and uh, did all of this without highlighting. So what I am doing now, which is one of the reasons why I don't pull this out a lot is because I still have the PDF pattern of this, which is helpful. I like to do full coverage patterns on a PDF. So much easier to work off of. Um, but I kind of have to go through and highlight what I have already stitched, which is a pain in the butt. So, um, this section here, as you can see, is finished. Um, maybe if I could get like the halfway point done next year, I would feel pretty accomplished. Um, really, I'm just going through and filling in what needs to be filled in. So this is more than halfway done for sure. I have most of the, the heavy, you know, or the most prevalent colors done. Um, and I still really like it. I, I think it's turning out way better than I thought it was going to. Um, this was just a pattern off of Etsy that I bought, but you can see I left myself about an inch of fabric over here. 
about an inch and a half, two inches, two inches at the bottom. So some fabric is going to be added. This just, it's so dirty. This is so dirty. This is so old. This is at least 10 years old at this point. I know I started it my sophomore year in college, which was 2009, 2010. I don't remember what part of the year I bought it in, but it's getting up there in uh, age. So this one is obviously pretty confetti heavy too, especially around the flowers for some reason. Alrighty. All right, chugging along. This one, I've already talked about this one being a potential focus piece, a potential probable focus piece for 2020. This is Rosewood Manor Sunrise. Um, I'm doing Sunrise and Sunset eventually on the same piece of fabric and cut in half, put it on either side. I have a big mirror up here, um, put it on either side of the mirror. So worked on this a couple times. Um, so that sunrise row is done and I started working on the next row there. I do really like these flowers um, that kind of continues across that row. Um, so yeah, slow and steady progress on this one. Once I get into the rhythm of stitching that those patterns go pretty quickly. Um, that is this is 32 count banshee um, linen, opalescent linen, hand dyed by Stephanie. It might just be Stephanie Fabrics or something now. But there's that one. I don't really foresee a lot more finishes this year. Um, like I said, I do want to finish that Disney piece. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, and I'm still stitching on my crock pot um, Christmas exchange piece. Um, so and that's next week. So I need to kick my kick my butt in the high gear because I have to finish it and FFO it in nine days. So yeah. I'm a procrastinator at my finest, ladies. Gentlemen. I don't know if there's any gentlemen. Um this is my next whip. It's again, another one that's really close to being done. This is, I think I call this one flowered wreath. I don't remember what the name is. I bought it on Etsy. I've ranted about um, the pattern on this one several times in the past. Nothing lines up. It's just numbers. There's no symbols. So it can be a little bit, the pattern can just be a little bit irritating. Um, this is what I want to get done because it's one of my only non-full coverage pieces on Ada. Not that Ada, I like Ada for full coverage, but that's about it. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I can look at a pattern or a finished project at this point from across the room and be like, that's done on Ada. And I just don't like that I can do that. So um, still really like this. I do like the way it's turned out. I love the pinks and the blues. Um, Still debating if I want to put words in the middle. I think it's the pattern calls to put um, the word enjoy in the middle, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but yeah, so there's that whip. I'm running out of time. Right. Haul will have to be pretty quick. All right, next one. This is my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, I've seen several finishes of this lately on Instagram. I am doing my own color conversion. If you wanna know anything, just ask me. Um, I worked more on the car. I think that's all I worked on since the last time I showed you guys. Um, that car is mostly done. Just have to finish the wheels. And I think the windows are filled in. And there's a tree on top, so just just a couple things, right? This is in my Christmas cupcake bag, which is adorable. All right, 
50s has gotten some good love to it. Um, I did pull this out on Thanksgiving because it was only appropriate. It is Glendon Place Thanksgiving. Um, I am obsessed with these turkeys. I am only using three of the dinky dies. Again, I talked about that last time on my video. Um, the turkey's body, which I think is nut wood. So you can see that's what I've started to do recently. Um, I also think I finished this section down here, which is cat's cat, something like that. Um, and this is stitched on 32 count Queen Anne's lace in Jublin. So he's so fun. I love him. Love, love, love him. Wanted to have him done by Thanksgiving. Maybe next Thanksgiving. Oh, gosh. I go through this and I'm like, what did I stitch on? I know I've made some good progress on a lot of these projects, though. So, this is in a purple bag. Um, not even a project bag. I do not have a printed out picture of this chart, unfortunately, but I did insert a picture on the screen last time. Um, if I remember, I'll do that somewhere out here. Uh, when I was editing, I can't pick like the exact second that I want it. So it will pop up at any point um, in like a 10 second span. So it should have shown up at this point. Um, but this is Book House by Stone Street Stitchworks. Um, so I am converting the colors a little bit. That house is Freedom, I guessed. Um, I am also the brown for the roof and the tree trunks um, is gonna be in Wood Trail. So a couple changes there and then my trees which are actually books um picked out some different colors so gentle art cranberry love this color did start stitching on that uh this just says a gift for you uh so it must be like a limited edition um color and cotton so yellow uh weeks mulberry very pretty purple and Weeks Ocean, um, which is more of a turquoise color. So I think all together, the colors are very pretty, very jewel toned. Um, but I really, really like those. And I think they'll look good on the fabric. Um, the other two colors. And then the other thing I changed, I think, the windows and then the book pages were supposed to be like DMC 712 and I changed it to B5200 because I wanted it white, white, white. So, um, yeah, love these. I spent forever picking these colors out. I swear that's what I did for like an entire night. It's like, what colors do I want to use? Um, this is Stitch on Twilight Mist Joblin, 28 count. I was... This was in my basket and I knew I needed to put it away. So there we go. All right. The next one I made some really decent progress on. Um, Heather Confetti Stitcher, if you're watching, look up now because this is my Rapunzel. So oh, that's what she will look like when she is all done and beautiful. Um, still working away on the dress, but I have found the bottom on probably like this much of the dress, but I've still found the bottom. So oops, this is stitched on 36 count even weave. Um, so I wanted to do the dress part first because I knew if I did the more intricate stuff and then saved all this giant blocks of stitching for last, I would 
probably go crazy. This is the little piece of dress that is the bottom of the dress. It kind of curls and swoops um, where it hits the floor, I guess. So I did find the bottom. This is going to be a 2020 focus. I would like to have her done. I know it's possible. I just need to do it. Um, but I think last time I showed, I think I was only to here. So I stitched this whole section, um, which is pretty good. All right. I only have one more whip here to show you. And then we'll move on to haul for, and I've got about 15 minutes to show haul and stitchy goodness before I think I run out of space. Can I do it guys? Can I do it? And I have to announce my giveaway winner from last video. Oh, so many things to do. Um, so this is, I think the actual pattern is called Queen on Etsy. I don't remember who um, designed it. I call it Jewel Crown because I'm going to put jewels on it. And um, I'm converting the pattern to Krynik. So it's a Krynik DMC blend, which I think gives it just enough sparkle. Um, it's not showing up super well um, as a metallic on camera, but trust me, it is. Uh, this is 28 count Mystic Cashel Linen um, from PTP. So I do have enough if I want to put a quote on the bottom. I'm not sure if I do. I may just finish this as like a pillow or I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I love this piece. Um, every time I pull it out, I'm like, oh, this is fun. So there is that. Those are my whips, guys. Plenty of whips. Let's do stitchy goodness kindness next. Um, and then we'll get through haul. Most of my haul is fabric this time. Um, I apparently keep thinking that I need to keep adding to my stash. So uh, I'm pretty sure everybody when we went to Whistle Stop brought stuff for everybody else. Um, little knickknacks or um, as you'll see even stitch piece. Um, and we also had our exchange. So I I think I only got stolen from once um, when we did our white elephant exchange um, and I was the second to pick so I really I don't want to say I had the worst position um, but there was the least amount out <laughs> there was one project out um, and then I got stolen from and then I picked another item um, and that's when I got to keep and I'm super excited about it. So it is the hands-on design um, little, The little drum series. This is here the bells um, Crystal stitched this She did put some metallics in that which you guys if you guys have ever watched my channel uh, You know that I love metallics. So this is really perfect for me um, It's finished beautifully she did change out um, quite a few of the colors, I believe, to make them pop a little bit more. Um, you can probably tell that definitely with the ornaments. Um, she said a lot of colors were just way too muted for her personal preference. Um, and I love the I love the changes that she made, especially the metallics here. Um, and then the little Jabco pins, um, which are super cute and sit on top. So this is being displayed right now in my house um, for Christmas. So super excited. Love that. Thank you so much, Crystal. Um, one of the other pieces that we got. So everybody got one of these. Um, and these were personalized by Tony and Sharon. They stitched 10 versions of this. And then we all, you probably can't tell on mine, um, but we all signed each other's um, little pillows. So mine says friends. My favorite color is blue. So they stitched it on blue and they know I like sparkle. So they stitched them not only on an opalescent, but for the eye, they put a little gemstone. Um, so other people got buttons and mine is a gemstone. So it's perfect. So thank you so much, 
uh, Sharon and Tony. I love, love, love this. This also sits out in my house on my shelf. Um, other stitchy goodness. Uh, Lisa went to Africa to see um, her daughter and her grandkids who are living there currently. Um, and she brought us back all of these. So um, everyone got a different... Uh, not everyone got a different animal. I, I think there were elephants and giraffes from what I saw. Um, but everyone's was just a little bit different. Very African looking fabric there. So this is super cute. Um, she gave this to us when uh, we went to uh, Middletown for Sharon's uh, surprise birthday party um, earlier this month. So... That was a lot of fun. Uh, her husband invited us over. We just had dinner. He made steaks. Everybody else brought a side, just like we do for our normal crock pot meals. Um, and it was a blast. So, uh, I had also gone down for another dinner with the girls down in Cincinnati. And whenever I go down, I stay with Pam and Steph. Um, and the Steph did gift me some dinky dyes. Um, so these are very, very pretty. I love this blue one. Surprise, surprise. It's called Persian Jade. Love that. Um, so lots of fun colors here. Um, she gave me those. And then while we were there, we pulled out their freebie bins. Um, and I know Steph picked out all of her, um, some freebies and stuff that she's going to stitch next year uh, for ornaments or whatnot. Um, but I'll hold a couple of these up, like, way back here. Um, I sold this one. I don't know what it's called or who it's by. It's just called Winter Freebie. Kind of looks like I like ink circles or something like that. Some holly berries. Um, this is carousel, carousel charts. I have seen many people stitch this one. This is Spook When You Are Spoken To. There we go. Um, and then this is Happy Jack, and this is a Krynik Vintage Threads. So this little pumpkin here, and he's sparkly, it's Krynik. Um, and then this is a Crock-Pot chart um, that Pam and Seth made for us when we went down to um, Tennessee. And one of the other things that we got from Katie, when we were there, I already showed you. So she made these little crock pot crew um, charms. You can see my fingerprints on it. So we each got two of those. Um, and then she made this one, which is rock out with your crock out. Love that. Uh, Sharon made us these little trains. I know this is super organized, guys. I'm just trying to get through it before my camera shuts off. Um, and then the other one that Katie made was a big crock pot. So, and this has a giant uh, magnet on the back. So your needle will not go anywhere. Other stitchy goodness. So I already talked about what I gave away for um, the Harry Potter exchange. Um, and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I was blown away by this finish. Love, love, love it. Um... I got this lovely floral Deathly Hallows um, piece that was stitched and finished on this hand painted box. Um, and this was done by Daphne, Mama Metzger. Um, and I am obsessed with this. So I'll go through, of course, she sent me lots of goodies inside as well. Um, she like completely did this box. Um, and this was one of the quotes that said, uh, that I liked and it says you sort of you sort of start thinking anything's possible um, if you've got enough nerve um, which really just needs to be my new motto in life so um, she sent me lots and lots of goodies uh, Ravenclaw socks because I'm a Ravenclaw she made this notebook journal um, that's got Ravenclaw bookmark, um, and then this has got like three separate journals inside of it. Um, 
the stories we love best live in us forever. We got Luna. I'm a big Luna fan. Um, Wizards. Now Boarding. Just super cool um, little journal that she put together. You can tell like a lot of work went into this. She sent me a big thing of buttons, which is awesome because I'll need those for my Sue Hillis piece, my Paris piece. Sent me a lovely card, which I'm obsessed with this card and I need it in my life. This is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, this feather, it's just a tape measure, but it's so cute. I kind of want to take it to work, but I'll lose it or someone will steal it from me. Uh, she made me this scissor fob, which is the It's You I Like. Love that. Lots of sparkles. I'm telling you guys, I was completely spoiled with this. Completely spoiled. And then probably one of my favorite things in the box, this mermaid pen. Love it. Love, love, love it. So, oh, hold on. How did I forget this? Um, this was one of the charts that I had on my one, two, three stitch wish, wish list. Uh, Needle Blings Design. Um, go sleep, boo. So, and then she did send me the uh, floss for that as well. So, thank you so much, Daphne. I love it. I've already told you that. Um, love it so i really hope we do that again next year candy girl i want to do it again so let's do it all right i've got like four minutes let's do the giveaway um and then that way i can just power through haul real quick so this was my giveaway on my last video two months ago i did random comment youtube comment picker um, and the winner was Christine Tyler. Uh, she said that she would stitch this in 996 um, with a blend of 996 and a metallic or sparkly thread on a model gray fabric, which I think would look awesome. You guys know that I love sparkles. So congratulations, Christine. I will um, comment on your comment um, for you to get in contact with me so I can uh, send this to you. Congratulations. No giveaway today. Um, so whole lots of fabric. This was um, changing leaves. This is my fabric of the month subscription from Leslie under the sea fabrics. I think this was September or October. I don't remember. Um, I know she's just finishing up November's. Um, she was sick. Leslie, I really hope you're feeling better. Um, love this. I don't really have anything like this in my stash. Um, so that will be a fun addition. And then most of these, a lot of these came from, um, Seraphim Fabrics, um, on Facebook. She was having like a flash sale. I think she was kind of cleaning out some things that she has. So these are various counts and, um, this is probably my favorite one. This is a, 36 count linen. I think this is gingerbread. I love that one. It's probably one of my favorite. Um, not all of these have names. This is a 28 count linen. Blue, surprise, surprise, right? Most of these actually don't have names. This is a 32 count linen. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. I love this one. It's got some different colors in it. Some pinks and purples. This is a good neutral, a little bit more yellow than I thought it would be, but still lovely. Um, and this is a 28 count. Very pretty. And this last one is a 32 count linen and this is I also really really like this one again blues and greens um a mermaid would be really really pretty on that one so that's what I got from Seraphim Fabrics sale um 
I got some random floss. I went to keepsakes. Some more fabric. I'm literally like under a minute here, guys, and I'm just gonna power through. Um, just show it all. I just bought all the fabric this last time. If you guys have questions on any of these, let me know. Um, I bought ball shaker box, honor sampler, my design series. I thought that one was really cool. And then uh, Mary Noel, uh, they have this finished at, um, keepsakes and it's amazing. And I am going to finish that here because I have 10 seconds. It's flashing at me. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys soon, probably right around the new year. Merry Christmas. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving.